guys, I'm Pansy from Marketing 201OH. Today, I'm going to leave you to have a sneak peek of what we're actually learning during this class. Interesting, right? So let's go! Talking about marketing, what do you think? What it is? Actually, marketing is about managing profitable customer relationships. And therefore, imagine you are a company. Now, you got a product, you got to sell, you got to want to increase your sales and want to make more money but who to target we know customer wants two things either be the service or the product now how can we sell either of them we have to actually it's easy we only need to be through three process the first profit process is about segmentation Segmentation is a process that used to dividing a market into distinct groups of buyers who have different needs characteristics. Okay, make it in short. Like if you're a chunky dim sum shop in the university station, who will be the segmentation of the target your customers? Of course, it will be the people who will pass by the university student at uh, the university station and then buy the dim sum. Okay, secondly, we will go to targeting. Then we have to target and evaluate each market segment's attractiveness. Who are they? Okay, maybe we got the workers that come from the um, university station for, to take the minibus or buses. And we got the university students who live inside the hostel. And we got some workers that maybe the teachers, the professors that work in the university. We have to see which one that we have, have the most attractiveness in the dim sum. And then we have to go to positioning just to arranging the product to occupy the clear, distinctive, and desirable place relative to the completing products in the minds of the customer. After that, we have to go to the SWOT. Sounds familiar? The strength, the weakness, opportunity, and risk. After evaluating all of them, we can finally come up with a feasible plan. But before talking about the feasible plan, we have to actually do some analysis and talking about finding our target customer and the intended positioning by the 7P. What are the 7P? It is the product, the price, the promotion, the place, people, process, and physical evidence. Okay, now we have our target customer and see, and we have to promote them. But by how? We just talk about coming with a feasible plan, right? Like writing every thesis, we will have to do some research first. So as marketing, by research, we can actually go to two places that we can handle with primary data and the secondary data. What is secondary data? Secondary data is talking about something that we can get and is already processed by other people. Like we can find information from books, from some bloggers maybe, or from some videos on YouTube, just like what we are watching now. So, what is primary data then? Because as a company, you know, sometimes secondary, secondary data is untrustable. Sometimes it's fake or not precise enough, not, not what we exactly need. This time, we will need to find it by ourselves. Why not do a survey or just observe or even do experiment? You can call. Maybe sometimes you will receive some call too during experiment. That's exactly what they are doing in order to gain the primary data. Okay. Now, this is the first plan. Then what is the second plan? Oh, it's the promotion plan. After doing the research, of course, you have to think how to attract the customer at once. Like in a short glance, when they're looking at the advertisement or looking into a shop, what can attract them the most? Of course, it has to be the PPCCBRS. What is it? Price cut, premium, coupon, contest, bonus pack, rebate, and sampling. Imagine if you get in, if you just maybe walk by the shop and you took a glimpse inside. Oh my god, it's having a price cut. Oh my god, if I buy two, I can get one free. And I, if I, after shopping this time, I come again, I can get another 20% off. And then I can become a VIP and enjoy more, more discount. Or even I can get into a lucky draw, or I can earn Asian miles or money back. And they will send me some sampling. Sounds really attractive, right? This is how we built. And in long term, if we keep doing these promotions and we keep in touch with the customer one by one, 
It is exactly what we're doing called customer relationship management. Customer relationship management is means we have to find some way to get in touch with our customer, increasing our touch point and therefore increase their loyalty. When you buy something in Dior, Prada, YSL, maybe sometimes they will send you some emails using the manager's name and ask, how are you? Let me tell you some price cut in person. Then you will feel like you're being care alone and of course your loyalty will increase. Okay, now we have to talk about the customer side, right? Time to talk about other side. That is, before the product has reached your company, they've actually been through a few procedures, from the producer to the supplier to the intermediaries. So how do we st- how do we study how the product fits the customer the best? Of course, we will need a demography from the economic side, the natural side, technological side, political and social, and eventually the cultural side. We can study the demography and then we have to build a value delivery network with the company, suppliers and distributors so that we can ensure we're on the same page, we're sharing the same value. This is also called a marketing channel that help make a product or service available for use or consumption by the co- consumer or business user of course. So after building this whole channel, finally we have the problem. How do we sell? It's not okay only with the price cut and the premium thing. We have to make it have the points of parity so that if our customer using it, it can still connect with other people who are using like you're using a Samsung or using a smart uh, iPhone, you're all using a smartphone. Or also we are, have to have a POD, which is the point of difference. If you're, I'm using an iPhone, I can use my face to unlock. Can you, Samsung, know that's why I'm proud of using